just wanna be free. Mr. Jimmy, are you okay? I look sick. Uh, why do you look so devastated? Did you have a fight with Miss Stephanie? Uh, come on. I'm sorry to bother you, but it seems you've forgotten where you are. There is an office. Yes. And whatever relationship you share with Miss Stephanie, you need to be careful because it's too risky. It might cost you everything. Everything you've worked for. Hmm. It's just my advice to you. Please be careful. God of the poor, where have you been for long? Can you hear me call from my place of pain? God of the universe, where have you been for long? I've been waiting, I've been praying. Can you hear? What is the one with this man? So they don't want to blow for you. You know they don't want to blow for you. Where your mind is? So why not kill you? Let me go kill you. Carry your problem. Can you hear me? I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. Holy Moses, you mean you went through all that? That was just a quarter of what I went through in the hands of that girl. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You know, I was... I was thinking I... I, I, I thought I was doing the right thing, you know. I thought I was loving Stephanie, not knowing that it was an infatuation, lost. Okay. And she, I mean, whatever, whatever, it's okay, it's okay. But I, I, I was doing a great mistake. I never looked your way even when you were there for me, you know, and I was suffering in the hands of Stephanie. You were there for me, you were encouraging words and all that. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you so much because without those wonderful words of yours, I wouldn't have gotten it right, but your words kept me going. It's all right, Mr. Jimmy. We're friends. What are friends for? We should be there for each other. So it's fine. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I see, I want to give you that special thing. There's this special thing I got for you from Dubai. I know. <laughs> There's a special thing I've not given to you. I just kept it all this while. I saw it. Sir, I brought it for you. Okay. Something very special. A picture. What is she doing here? Okay. Mm. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah, the girl is now selling food. <laughs> to buy food. <laughs> and this is the special food from Dubai. You've not eaten it before. Mr. Jimmy. These are flowers now. <laughs> yeah. Flowers. Dubai flowers. But you've not seen it before. It's very special. Very special. Okay. Mm. Can you perceive the aroma? Yeah, they smell so good. Okay. Before we eat it, I want you to close your eyes. <laughs> oh. Mr. Jimmy, you can never change. No, you can't eat this food with your eyes open. All right. Mm. Are they closed now? 
Yes, they are closed. <laughs> are you sure you're closing your eyes? Of course. Okay. Please, will you marry me? Please marry my brother. I have been faithful. I have been living my life. Mom, this is giving with smiles. <laughs> Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A man has asked for my hand in marriage. <laughs> really? Chineke! <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> He's our company general manager. Eh? Yes. Manager! <laughs> of your company? I'm telling hey. you. Chineke <laughs> Nekele. You see, I knew it. I knew you were going to marry a very big man. <laughs> That's my prayer for you. Hey! I'm so happy for you. I'm happy too, Mom. Hey! But there is a problem. A problem? Yeah. What kind of problem? Mom, he's asking that he wants to see my father's kinsman. Mom, you're not saying anything. Mom, he has been asking me about my parents, my father, my mom. And what did you tell him? Uh, I told him I, I only stay with my mother. That I don't know my father. I have been living my life in fear of you. Um, I had my reasons to quit. Please, please can don't do love. this again. I beg you. Mom, remember how. I've been through a lot going on. You know how I faced rejection from my my age group. They just rejected me. Everybody avoided me as if I was an outcast. And please, I've been through a lot going on. If not for my friend Debbie, who was just there for me, when everybody rejected me and never wanted to have anything to do with me. When the time has come for you to tell me who my father is, I need to know my origin. I need to know where I'm from, who are my kinsmen. Mommy, please. I love Jimmy so, so much. And he loves me too. I wouldn't want the circumstances of my birth so we do want to hinder my marriage. I beg you, Mom, please. Just tell me who my father is.
Can you feel my pain? Can you feel my pain? Can you feel my pain? Babe, stop it. I'm not happy with you. I told you I wanted puffy and you went to get me ice cream. Who knows who she's talking with? She wants to drag a man with me. <laughs> See, she's decided to pull the stunt. <laughs> Good day, Miss Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Miss Stephanie. Is, huh? everything, is everything all right? She's even asking me a question. Did I do anything wrong? Baby, let me call you back, okay? This one is definitely so Miss Aline. So, girl, I'll be coming to see your mom very soon. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that would be nice. Mommy will be so happy to see you. Okay. At least I come see your mom, see your dad, and then we talk. <laughs> I will tell mom you'll be coming to see her. I don't you have a father? Um, I don't have a dad. I only just have my mom. I don't understand. I don't know my dad. Yes, I grew up with a single parent, just my mom. I mean, see, you know, sometimes you like to joke, I mean, but this is just a serious joke. Babe, I'm serious, I'm not joking. I've always asked my mom about my dad, but she wouldn't say anything. She would just keep quiet and don't want to talk about it. I'm tired of asking her. I grew up having no friends, nobody, just my mom. Do your friends know about the deal? How are you feeling about this? It's been crazy, really. You know, waking up each day and just trying to find a way to be happy. You don't know what I go through every day, even at the office, but I just try to you know, be happy and believe in God. I don't even have any friend, just Debbie. She's the only one who believes in me because every other person calls me bastard. Baby, it's okay. It's okay. You are not a bastard, okay? You are not. I am coming to see your mom, okay? Mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't matter. I still love you, okay? Yes, I, I... I will make sure I do the needful. I'll come and see your mom. Then we'll start off from there. Okay. Thank you. Believe in yourself, trust yourself. You, I mean, you are not a bastard. Debbie, there's a serious problem. And what could that be? You know that lady, Stephanie? Who is Stephanie? Our office accountant. What about her? You know, when Jimmy was still our office messenger, Jimmy proposed to her. But she turned him down and said and did all sort of things to him. And now, Jimmy has proposed to me. Now she wants Jimmy back. Ah, How? Girls of nowadays. Oh, girls of nowadays, they are gold diggers. They don't like suffering. They just want already made. Does Jimmy want her back? No. What is wrong with you? What has come over you? You should be thinking of, about how to, how to live a, a happy life. You're here thinking about Stephanie. What is your problem? I'm just confused. See, you don't have to be confused. Eh? You don't have to be. You're a good woman. You deserve Jimmy. And Jimmy loves you. What you should be thinking about right now is how to live a good life with Jimmy. How to, how to plan your marriage. How to, how to plan yourself. Not to think about that girl. See, if you want to live a happy married life, 
you need to do these things. Now listen to me. Respect your husband. Hmm? Make sure he is the man of the house. Don't take that away from him. Hmm? Respect him. Just do everything he wants you to do for him. By doing all these things, you will live with your husband happily. Yes. Thank you very much, Debbie. Uh, it's nothing. My friend, I am going to introduce this book to you. Yes, it's called Living a Happy Life Even While Married. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I know this book. I've seen Jimmy reading it. Oh, that is very interesting. So you should borrow it from Jimmy. You need to look in that book. It's really going to teach you a whole lot of lessons, a whole lot of tips on how to follow your marriage. I, I am experienced. I have three kids, so I should know better. Debbie, you become a marriage counselor. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, you know I am, I am already into this thing. You can say that again. Thank you so much, Debbie. I will sure drag Jimmy to come here so that you will cancel us because you're now a marriage counselor. <laughs> you're going to pay. It's not free. Oh. Anybody you're bringing here, bring money. I <laughs> do like money, my friendship. <laughs> <laughs> you should be thinking about your marriage, not that, that so called. Uh, what did you call her name again? Stephanie. Don't even talk about that thing, that name close to me. Think about your marriage. Uh -uh. I should be thinking about something that doesn't make sense. Thank you. Baby, can you imagine some girls are just funny in this life? <laughs> Why do you say so? That girl, Stephanie, she's just a disgrace to you, womanhood. <laughs> what did she do again? I don't know if she expected me to be running into her arms all the time after all she did to me when I had nothing. Really? Yeah. You yeah, can imagine Stephanie coming to my office every now and then. I don't know what she wants from me. <laughs> it's very obvious. Maybe she wants you back. Yes. <laughs> How about my dead body? Maybe calm down, okay? Don't allow Stephanie to be your problem, okay? No, Stephanie is not my problem. Uh, for real, uh, I've forgiven her, but I'll never forget what she did to me. You know? I know. Or maybe she... She wants to have you back as a man. My dear, Stephanie finished me. Stephanie called me all sorts of names. Stephanie said a lot of things to me. I can't even, I can't even comprehend. I, anyway, anyway, I hope nothing against her. I've forgiven her, but I will never forget what she did to me because she can, she can eat her cake and have it. <laughs> of course. I, I think I have to tell her about us. About us? Yeah. She knows already. She knows about us? Mm -hmm. Then why all this drama? <laughs> you know women are very, very sensitive. And when it comes to what they want, they can do anything. <laughs> it's very unfortunate that she cannot eat her cake and have it. You're right. Baby, please. Just forget about Stephanie. Let her go with her wahala because... It's okay. I'm not holding anything against her. But all, all I'm saying is that I don't have anything to do with Stephanie anymore. I, I mean, I don't even have anything to do with her before because she really dealt with me. I okay? Know. She really, really dealt with me. So, <laughs> she just can't eat her cake and have it. That is it. Yeah. But it's, it's okay. I just pray she comes back to her senses and change her ways. That would be better for her. <laughs> I yeah. have been faithful. I have been Get this proposal ready as soon as possible. 
it will be submitted to Sanchez company by 2 p.m. Okay, that's fine. Um, excuse me. Yes. Um, sorry, Miss Stephanie. Should I type this with the company's letterhead, or I should use an A4 paper to type it? Are you so daft? Even if I didn't say it, don't you know what you ought to do? Asking stupid questions. Ordinary flesh that is added there, okay? It's not a big deal. What is good for the girls is also good for the ganja. <laughs> You've not seen anything, this is just the beginning. What brings you? Please, I want you to separate them. Please, I want him to be all mine. They, they are planning on getting married, but I want him to be mine. Please, do everything you can to scatter them. He's already yours. Do you believe? Hundred percent. Judge Jehovah Iman. Holy. Judge Jehovah Iman. Holy. Ah. Judge Jehovah Iman. Holy. This young man used to like you a lot. Mm. But now, things have fallen apart. And you are the cause of it. And now he wants to marry another. She, Rosalind. Yes. Is that not her name? That's her name. Mm. That's her name. Ja, Jehovah Emmanuel. Ja, Jehovah Emmanuel. Ja. Jehovah Emmanuel, I will separate them. I will invoke a strong spirit of hatred. Good. I will make them to be cat and rat. Oh! Holy. Oh! But that will cost you a token. Anything. Anything at all. Anything. Just name it. Holy. Holy. 
transfer 200,000 to my account. Let your prayer cleansing begin immediately. We must stop them. Ha! Jah, Jehovah, this career cannot Ah! Zero, zero. Two, zero, zero. Ah, holy. Holy. Seven, six, three. Ah! Nine, seven. Assess bank. Jah, Jehovah, Emmanuel. I've seen their lot. I must separate them. Yes. Please do. Please do. From what I'm seeing, they love each other very well. But I must stop them. Yes. He must marry you. You have to go and come back tomorrow evening. 9 p.m. Okay. I need to cleanse you. Ah! You are covered with darkness. God forbid. Mm. That cannot solve your problem. They've clothed you with darkness. Holy Ghost fire. Before now, your face has been scaring the young man. But after the cleansing, the young man will be running after you. He will be begging you, crying to marry you. Then you will see why they call me Ojenamo. Why they call me Odogu, not Odiewu. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. He's your husband already. Thank you. Smile. Celebrate. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here. 9 p.m. tomorrow. 9 p.m. Ah. Oh. oh, sis. Let me see how she's going to marry you. Stupid girl. She wants to have shiny. She wants to have shiny Stephanie. <laughs> It will hit you both like a sledgehammer and you will not know what hits you. You are mine and mine alone. If I can't have you, Rosalind will not. I'd rather die than see you both together. Jimmy, you are running back to me on your knees. Love in you, the best you never done. Love in you, you know, love in you, it's the best you never done. Love in you, center of my world, you're the best gift I've ever got. Oh, my love. You're moody. What is it? Babe, it's mom. She has refused to speak. Oh, babe, come on. Don't let that weigh you down. Okay? You don't even know why she doesn't want to speak. Yes, maybe she doesn't want to go back to her past. Uh, I, I guess her past is not something to talk about. She doesn't want to talk about it, I believe. Past? Yeah. Past is already in the past. We're in the present. She needs to speak. She can't just keep quiet and not say anything. I understand her perfectly well. You don't even know what conspired. Okay, so don't judge her. I'm not judging her. She's my mom. I will never judge her. 
whatever the problem is, she can always confide in us and speak to us about it. Not letting us be in the dark like that. I'm not a child. I'm a woman. I need to know my origin. I need to know where I'm from. I need to know my father. You're telling me I shouldn't be worried. Okay. I wanted to know that I love you and I'm going to stick with you. Okay? I'm not going down for any other woman. Without father, I still love you. You're my world. You're my angel. You're my rosy. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, I love you. I'm here with you, okay? Leave me alone. Hold me alone. <laughs> As I watch your hands, I watch away every spirit of disappointment. Ah, me? Every spirit of disappointment in your life. Ah, me? Every ill spell in your life. Ah, me? I wash away every delay in marriage. Ah, me? I wash away every evil spirit. Ah, me? Every delay in marriage. Ah, me? Every ill luck. Ah, me? Jimmy is your husband. Ah, me? As I wash your feet, I wash away every spell ah, cast on you. Ah, me? I wash away Every delay in marriage. Mommy. This day is your day. Mommy. Jimmy must marry you. Mommy. Jimmy must beg you. Mommy. He must be your husband. Mommy. I wash away every delay, every darkness. Mommy. End it. End it. End it. Judge Jehovah a man. Hey. Judge Jehovah a man. The spirit cast on your body and your face was done spiritually. And I must relieve it spiritually. They clothed your face with darkness. That's why Jimmy was not able to see you physically. I will remove it spiritually. Ja Jehovah Emmanuel. Ja Jehovah Judge Jehovah Emmanuel. Judge Jehovah. Judge Jehovah. Judge Jehovah Emmanuel. Judge Jehovah. Judge Jehovah. My daughter, you know that it takes the spiritual to control the physical. Anything that is happening in this world today must have happened in the spiritual realm. Your wedding is going on in the spirit right now. Me? I want you to sing any song of your choice. Your wedding is going on. Jimmy is your husband. Sing any wedding song of your choice and dance to it. Judge Jehovah in my It's my wedding day. Ellie. It's my wedding day. No, babe. I like this one. I like this. <laughs> Whoa. This is fine now. This is good. You really have eye for good things. Of course. Baby, <laughs> on that day, I want to look stunning for you. <laughs> and this looks good. Um, wow. Wow. Maybe this will be for pre-wedding picture. So we just stay like this. <laughs> Okay, let me show you something. Okay. What do you think about this? Wow, this is heavenly. <laughs> so Look beautiful. at it very well. Where has she gone to? 
I'm sure she has gone to see him. She's hardly on her desk these days. What is happening? I carry the prescription of what a sharp sharp gave me accordingly. Hmm. Regina Moore played a fast one on me. Her stupid spiritual cleansing or whatever she calls it did not even work. Only God knows what I will do to her should I set my eyes on her. 200,000 naira, gone down the drain just like that. Anyway, see her, she must return my money even to the last couple. This is my love. If ease did not go, was will go. Rosalind, you will never have Jimmy because he belongs to me. Yes? Hello, Miss Stephanie. <laughs> what? Yeah, so the general manager asked me to bring this file to you. Please go through it. The MD is waiting for it. <laughs> you just had to drop it on the table and, and leave. Must you see it? Get out. What? You heard me. I said leave my presence. Excuse me? Rosalind, leave my office at once! <sighs> Miss Stephanie, sorry if I may ask, but are you okay? Is everything alright? Your father! Life works like this, so you feel you can eat your cake and then have it. Is that what you think? Oh no, it would never happen. Months back, he was all over you, he was crushing on you, he wanted you. But what did you do? You were busy saying all sorts of things to him, you did and said all sorts of things to him. Excuse me, oh my god, you heard me now. Listen to me now. You will never have him. I know you're thinking you want him. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Is that not what you're thinking, my lady? <laughs> Stephanie, silence, now let me shock you. You will never have Jimmy. He belongs to me, not even in your dreams. Excuse me. Loser! That is what you are. I just want to love somebody and pray to someone who loves me back. I just want to be the best of you. Mommy, please, I'm begging you. Rose, my daughter, I know you're thinking I hate you or I don't want your happiness. Far from it. You're my only daughter, my only child, and your happiness is my utmost priority. 
I promise myself I'm not going to have anything to do with your father again. He deceived me. He made me believe he loved me. Little did I know he only wanted to take advantage of me. Mom. I, I know I know I'm a bastard. Yes. But please, please, just tell me. Who is my father? That is all I'm asking. He didn't want you. He doesn't even know you exist. He gave me money 30 years ago to go and flush you out. Um, Mama, I understand your plight. But please, you just have to do this for us. Now that he's still alive. Okay? You know, women doesn't collect bride price. I would have suggested we leave him and go on with the marriage plans and you see your daughter need to reconcile with her father please my son Jimmy I can't help it mama please mama, you don't have to be adamant over this mama you don't have to be adamant over this your daughter's happiness should be should be your concern Okay. I am still very much pained. Junior broke my heart. He betrayed my trust. No. Mama, please. Please. He betrayed my trust. I don't know how you feel, but you have to calm down. Okay? Are you going to oh. tell me hey. who my father is? Or should I end it? Please, don't do this. Please, stay out of this. If you kill yourself, what am I going to do? Stay out of this. Bro. Are you going to speak? Ah, you go. Ah. Babe. Ah. Babe. 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 Ah. Babe. Baby. What is it? Jimmy. What is it? Baby. Baby. Baby, what is Leave it? Leave him alone. I will say what you got. Baby, please don't do this to me. Please talk to me. What is wrong with you? Jimmy. Oh. Talk to me. Baby, talk to me. Happy, right? Don't even come close to him. Maybe because you're yeah, please, please. I'm ready please, to talk. Please. I'm ready to call. talk. Please. Wake him up. Baby, what Jimmy, is wake it? He's ready. Jimmy, no. Please. I'm ready to talk. <laughs> baby, baby. I'll save you. Baby. Baby. Oh. Baby. Sorry. Baby, you okay? Baby, you okay? Baby. Mama has agreed to talk. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it, it, it was 30 years ago. 30 years ago, I was a house help in Justice Raymond's dynasty. He was a son and a business mogul with so many business empires. They had a son whose name was Junior. Junior would not let me have a breathing space. He was all over me. All over me. He was a spoiled child.
doing here? I thought I told you I'm not interested. Calm down. Don't, don't shout. See, I fell in love with you the very first time I set my eyes on you. Please. Tell that to the beds. Please, please, baby, please. Don't touch me. Please. Anything I will take care of you. Just allow me, even if it's the cab. Let the cab enter, please. I'm working with the cab. The please. only thing I want you to do for me right now is to leave my room, or else I'll shout. Leave! Leave! You kill me. Don't shout. I will leave. I will leave. Leave! I will, I will leave. Calm down. Florence, okay. to tell you that I'm serious. <laughs> This is it. You can have all of it. Just take them. Please. It's money. I know you need it. Just the cup and need, please. Let it enter. Yes. Just keep it. Yeah. Hey. I haven't done it before. Oh, really? I'm, I'm scared. To get pregnant. Ah, you, you, you are not going to get pregnant. Yes, even if you get pregnant, I will definitely marry you. Yes, and you don't need to be scared because my Odugo will take care of you very well. I will do it gently and smooth. You, you will enjoy it. Go, 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 we are still talking. Go, go, go. You are talking too much. Go. Hello, sir. I'm doing my job. Yes, I know. But you don't need to be stressing yourself too much. I want you to remember that this body now belongs to me and only me alone. Did you know that last night you were this sweet? Yes, so sweet. Sweet and sweet. And this is my first time of having a virgin like you. Stop. This is so sweet. So what do you have here? Okay, I brought this for you just to say thank you for giving me your virginity. My love. Check them out. Go on. Thank you. You love them? Yes, I do. Wow. Okay, um, come here. <laughs> oh, My you. sweet pet at all. You are so sweet. Why not check them out? I will. As you can see, I'm busy. I'll check them later. Really? Yes. Okay, my love. Fine. I'll be in my room waiting for you. <laughs> okay. Don't mm -hmm. stress yourself. Go away! Look at it! Okay. I've been showing up for the past few days and I feel very feverish. What? And you kept quiet? 
Have you seen your monthly fuel for this month? No, I, I, I haven't seen my period for the past two months now. What? Forrest, are you this daft? What kind of figure are you? You have not seen your monthly flow for the past two months. And it's never occurred to you that you are pregnant. Pregnant? Oh. Oh. No, listen, just go and get dressed and let me take you to the clinic now. Clinic? What? What are we going there to do? What do people go to clinic to do? To drink, Gary? Go and get dressed. Let me flush this thing out of your, your tummy. Flush my baby. Genio, our baby. I thought you said you were going to marry me. Listen, don't start. The earlier we get rid of this thing, the better for both of us. Please, just do as I have said. Now! <laughs> Chinyo, I thought you said you loved me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, I love you. And I will continue to love you. But we need to do the needful. This thing happened when we least expected it. Besides, I am still a student. I don't want to be a father yet. You have to understand me, my dear. Please. And I don't want my parents to know about this. Let's get this out of your tummy before it's late. Please. Junior. So this is it. You lured me into sleeping with you. When you were sneaking into my room every night to make love to me. Even in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the balcony, every part of this house. You know, you didn't know that you weren't ready to be a father. Were you not enjoying it? Just look at you. Were you not enjoying it? I'm asking you, Flores. Were you not? Oh, now you've suddenly forgotten. Will you not? Please, spare me that. I have a sweet thing down here. And that is why any gay that tastes of this will ever and will continue to be coming. Just like you. Genio. Yes. Yes, and that is it. Listen, I don't want to have more discussions with you. Just go and get dressed. Oh, Florence, you've suddenly forgotten that I am the only child of my parents. And I don't want to disappoint them. I don't want to. Yeah. Listen, I want to help my father out. I want to continue from where he will stop. Please, I don't want them to disown me. Just help me. Just do this for me. It's not too hard. Junior, oh. so simply because you don't want your parents to disown you, you want me to kill an innocent child? Morris, nobody is killing anybody here. Yes. Besides, he's still a blood. It's not as if he's yet a baby. It's very simple, can't you see it? Move it. Just go, enough of it. Don't say any more thing. Just go. Go, go and get dressed. Just go, my friend, go and get dressed. He's still looking at me. Look at this thing. Look at this fool. You want to come here and, and be talking rubbish. Who was I even thinking? Did I just... Did I... Did I, I can't believe that I touched this thing. This... This dirty thing that I'm even trying to manage. Eh? Okay, I can see. She is not the first, and then will she be the last? And I will continue to be collecting it from her anytime I want it. 
I must get rid of this. Are you still there? They are still looking at me. Come. Ah. Jimmy? <laughs> Sir! How are you? You didn't tell me you were visiting. Okay, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> ah. Alright, sit down. Thank you, sir. Ah. Flores. Douglas. Where have you been? I I looked all over for you when I came back from the United States. Liar. Hey, woman, mind the way you talk to my husband. Mind what you tell him. Well, I know he is your husband, and I'm not here to drag him with you. Well, in a few minutes from now, you will know the monster you're married to. Hey, madam, watch your tongue. You're in my house. You don't call my husband names in my house. Well, madam, I have just one advice for you. Okay. Say it respectfully. That's it. You see, in life, don't get carried away with containers. Always try to check what is the content. 